Okay, this should be a really quick video because it's a super simple process that to uh, install tail scale. We're going to install tail scale on an Ubuntu machine and set it as an exit node so you can route all your traffic through there. This would be in place of using a exit node um, so that you could appear to be in a different location. So like if you're somewhere where Netflix is being restricted to one IP address, like at your house, you could set this up on Linux in your house and with the exit node connect back to your home location. So you essentially would be at home. Uh, but even if you're not using the exit node, you still have, it's added Ubuntu, uh, an Ubuntu machine to your Telscale network. So the first step is, if you go on the Telscale website, you'll see for Linux, I mean, you can just copy this command and paste it in and it's working it's working and should be up here in just a moment okay now it's telling you you can run it by tail scale up. Now I'm logged in as root. If I was logged in as a user, I'd probably have to use sudo tail scale up. But it'll tell you. Um, so now it's going to give you a domain, uh, a login right here that you can copy. You. For me, it doesn't. I can't actually get it to click. And you can paste that into a uh, into your browser, and that will pull up a uh, an authentication uh, page. You just click. I'm sorry, I use Google. I'm gonna have to edit this out. You just log in, click connect, and you can tell something's happening over here. It's success. And it's going to go to my command. Now, I have that. I also, if I want to run it as a exit node all I have to do well there's a couple of things you have to do sorry I brought it off here I'm running Ubuntu 2204 and what I did when I tested this was just copy this to enable the IP address forwarding I just copy pasted the whole thing in and it worked then I just need to add uh, and I think it's still going to work even with the sudo even though I'm logged in as root if not I can just take the sudo off now if I go into my uh, into my machines in my Telescale dashboard, I'm going to have a new machine here, which I'm, I've kind of got it moved over so I don't have to do as much editing, and forgive me for that. And it, what it's going to say, it's asking to be at an exit node. All I have to do is click on these three little buttons here, click edit route settings, and use as exit node. Now that's because I did this over here, the advertised exit node. Then you have to confirm it in your dashboard. And now I should be able to go to, I'm going to go ahead and exit and disconnect from that machine. Now I'm going to come into my tail scale, which I need to take me away from here. Uh, I'm going to come into tail scale. And you'll see down here localhost that's the name of the machine I could change it but that's the one I just created 
I'm going to use that as an exit node. That means that's just like if you use a privacy VPN. It's going to route all my traffic through there. So now I'm going to come up to IP chicken, and I should be at tails. I should be on uh, Linode's IP address, which just is at Linode. This is not my home. And if I would run speed test here. You're going to see it's at Linode. So I'm, all my traffic is being routed through to Linode. If this were sitting on a Linux machine at my house, I could route all my traffic through. And you're going to see I'm getting excellent speeds. My ping time was three seconds, and I'm getting well over 600 megabytes. Now I have a one gigabyte fiber in my house. So if I were running this on a Linux machine in my house and connecting from outside the house, I would expect maybe half of my line speed if the other IP address, I mean the other place I'm at has that kind of speeds available. I am going to set these up with Windows and Mac and Linux in my house and do a video where I film from another location to test the speeds on various clients. We know it works very well in Linux. There's reports that when you're using Windows that the speeds are kind of slow when you're using it as an exit node. I want to test that. But it was this simple to get it working. And again, if I didn't want it, I'm not going to show you my IP address to run it, but uh, if I want to get rid of the exit node and go back to just regular connection, I just click on no exit node. And now I'm not using the exit node anymore. And that was all there is to it.